Hey, what's up y'all and of course welcome to another alternative factuals uh, video uh thank you for sticking with me this week so this uh i believe today is going to be friday so yes um today i am going to be talking about nubia now if you have not been paying attention to the community tab uh, for the most part we have been already kind of in that direction in terms of i put out a poll a lot of people responded a uh, nubia was definitely first black lightning was second in terms of me talking about the tv show and a list of uh, among other things as well so we're going to be talking about nubia i'm going to go over her details and her character development and also her relation to wonder woman and uh, from my understanding as well i said it in the Insta well, said instagram video but more or less just the youtube um story i think she's only a couple seconds older um i don't know if that's still valid today um but all i know is that she is wonder woman's sister but before i dive into the details of that video please be sure to like share and of course subscribe leave your comments down below let me know what you're thinking let me know what you're feeling and please leave your suggestions down in the comments so that way i can make other videos and respond to the polls you know that does help me create my content and especially it helps me create content that you want to see and without further ado let's kind of just jump into it so nubia is actually a fictional character that we obviously can figure out is based in dc comics she is wonder woman's long lost twin sister and basically has the same superhero name as wonder woman thus wonder woman that whole situation and she first appeared in wonder woman volume 1 number 207 of january 1973 and her continuity was rebooted i believe in 1984 1985 so they did something different with her when it came to crisis on infinite earths and her abilities so i'll talk about that a little bit later and the importance of nubia and basically what this meant for women of color and the whole comic book game uh, comic book game changed after the introduction of nubia way back in 1976. now during this issue when she was first introduced in 1973 um, this was regarding Wonder Woman and her memories being restored by the Amazonians and then soon after that she actually was confronted by the female warrior who was wearing an armor and at the time we did not know that it was Nubia because in 1973 it was a little unheard of to see black characters in general. Uh, we were just kind of circling around to characters like Black Lightning and luke cage and characters similar to that there weren't very many of us in comics during this point in time so black characters are still relatively new compared to our white counterparts in, uh in comics so remember that keep that in mind so for the first issue that she was introduced she was kind of covered in this armor and no one really knew that she was black i'm pretty sure reading this back in the day fresh off the print you were thinking like oh yeah it's about to be another crazy wonder woman like character another amazonian who's just going to be powerful and imagine being shocked when you see a black woman under the armor who is not only wonder woman's sister but her twin sister and this was actually legitimized by queen hippolyta herself so this is this is kind of funny this is what makes it hilarious when it comes to dc comics now after the crisis on infinite earths event um this is where things kind of get a little trippy when it comes to her abilities back in 1985 so she was reintroduced as still nubia but the spelling was different so initially it was n-u-b-i-a and now it was spelled N-U apostrophe B-I-A, but okay, sure. I don't know what made the one change that, but okay, we're just going along with it at this point. So she calls Diana by her name of the former queen of Antiope, but then she kind of explains to Diana that she was actually the original Wonder Woman, that she had won the tournament that even gave the Wonder Woman title to Diana in the first place. But since she was the first of the Amazonians to win that tournament, she actually was the one who was assigned to guard Doom's doorway. And this is pretty much just an entrance to the River Styx and to Tartarus, and this gate was kept on Themyscira. Now, if you've seen the Justice League TV series way back in the early 2000s, I believe it was 05, if I remember correctly, uh, it might be a, I might be a little off on the years. If you've seen the cartoon and watched the episode, there is one where Wonder Woman goes back to Themyscira to kind of reconcile with her mother after leaving the island and then that we see Themyscira is indeed the island that holds the gateway to Tartarus as well as it's been mentioned multiple times in comics that they have been the holders of the gateway to the kind of Tartarus and other mythical and mystical you know energies and pathways and stuff like that just a minor introduction to you know the whole situation but she is also explained to have something called the cold sight which is a gift from the Gorgon to allow her to turn uh, other people into stone but I'm kind of diving into the abilities of her so let me kind of explain and kind of go over her powers now much like wonder woman for the most part she has the abilities that wonder woman has enhanced strength enhanced speed enhanced endurance she's not quite completely invulnerable much like diana but ultimately she is still very much hard to outright kill even though in some comic book issues they might just let her be shot by a random bullet
bullet and i'm pretty sure in wonder woman in real life if this was a situation i'm sure she would have to be to some level invulnerable because she can't just be deflecting bullets only with her bracelets but that's another argument for another day but nubia possesses a magic sword created by marge which was mars which was the only weapon on earth that can counteract diana's magic lasso Remember, this is pre-crisis as well, so I'm explaining both pre-crisis and post-crisis. So this version is pre-crisis. This sword allowed her to counteract the magic of the lasso. She also can glide in the air a lot like Wonder Woman and possess strength, as I said, as well as other Amazonian abilities. Now, post-crisis is where her powers start to get a little different. Nubia wears special magic armor that raises her embossed lion's head on her breastplate. So it almost looks like that movie Hercules with the rock, except he was wearing the lion's head on the back. But she has been shown to travel back and forth uh, via Tartarus and Hades and stuff like that at will. So this armor allows her to kind of transport herself via dimensions a lot more efficiently and effectively compared to Diana who actually manually has to go to a portal. Uh, post crisis as well, Nubia has 3000 years of combat experience providing her expertise in both hand to hand combat as well as with other weapons and also she still has the immortal uh, immortality that most amazonians possess which allows her to live indefinitely as a very young attractive woman but like i've said before one woman herself as well as nubia they're not completely impervious to injury and she still can experience death if the injury is lethal enough and she does possess like i said enhanced strength and intelligence now what's really cool about her is i've never really seen this about wonder woman herself at least not in her power set nubia has the ability to actually absorb and process vast amounts of information and knowledge in an extremely short period of time and i don't remember this being an ability that all amazonians have i think this might be exclusively to her i am not entirely sure so if anybody knows this a little bit better than me please let me know in the comments down below i'm not totally sure i've not seen this mention about wonder woman or hippolyta or even either one of the other amazonians that we've come to know over the course of wonder woman's history so please somebody let me know now there's an ability that i don't really know about too much because i guess we don't really see it used too often but uh, supposedly she can actually become one with the earth and soil and reform and reform her body as a whole to basically heal herself from physical energy um injury and toxins so this is what makes this very interesting supposedly all the muscarians should be able to do that as amazonians but they say diana actually first prayed to gaia and that allowed her to do that so i don't know how i'm kind of confused on that one mostly because i've probably only seen it the one time doing research in this video but when i try to look into it a little bit further i don't really see too much more information about it so yeah i don't know we'll see now don't get me wrong she is an extremely powerful character she is in a couple ways a little bit more powerful and a lot more experienced than wonder woman and she definitely can give her hands but a lot of people would ask simply off the rip what happened to nubia what has she been up to um she's appeared here and there you know she's appeared in like spinoff series with wonder woman and the whole scooby-doo team up uh wonder woman earth one and justice gods among us uh she only showed up i think in the video game if i remember correctly but nubia real one on may 28th of 2020 dc announced the original graphic novel nubia real one written by l o mckinney um it's going to be something that's going to be coming out and set to release february 2nd 2021 so nubia is actually getting rebooted to be created more of like a modern black woman someone who has the abilities of wonder woman but a little bit more relatable so you should be able to check that out uh in february of february 2nd 2021 so look out for that remember we got to support characters of color in general even though it is dc comics still showing interest in colors of um, heroes of color uh it lets them know that we are still very much marketable we are also very much still lucrative when it comes to creating these characters and re-releasing these characters of color that's what happened with black lightning when a lot of people started watching the show they started including him in more stories all that stuff so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed the information about nubia wonder woman's i mean technically she is an older sister because she did win the tournament earlier post crisis but i think what i got mixed up was a simple fact that she might not even be her sister anymore post crisis that is never completely clear at least in my opinion but let me know in the comments now what you think about this video and remember please like share and of course subscribe and leave your comments down below and i hope to see y'all later on mm, peace out